Hey what's going on guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make your audio sound crisp and basically your commentaries can sound a lot better with the, the effects, track, EQ and compressor. So we're just going list, to listen to these samples of audio and yeah, so just listen to this quickly. Do you want to know how to make audio sound like this with no Audacity or Adobe Audition and just using Sony Vegas with the default effects like the compressor and EQ? Well, well then watch this video and you'll, you'll find out how. This is without the effects. This is with track EQ. This is with track compressor. And this is with all the effects. So as you can hear, the last one and actually the first one as well, and the one with track EQ sounds a lot better. The track compressor doesn't really do much, it just changes the, the sound of the audio, as in like the how loud it is and how quiet, it just changes that. So it doesn't really change the audio, but you can get rid of some of these shouty bits, like when you just hear it like blast in your ears, if you know what I mean. So basically you can just get rid of those, even it out, or you can just use this here. But I'm, for the sake of this video, I'm going to do the compressor. So the first, of, well actually, before I start, I nearly forgot, let's make a new audio track and call this, uh, commentary, whoops quite commentary I should have done that before but I didn't think of it and this is where I'm going to be testing out all the effects so this is where I'm going to test out all the effects so just to show you or just for you to listen I'm going to play this just so you can hear it without the effects so this is where I'm going to test out all the effects so it sounds quite like it sounds quite bad basically it hasn't got much bass to it it's just like all it's not echoey, it's like you're in a basement or something. It's not actually got any bass into it, which is what I'm going to do. So what you want to do is go to your tra track effects. It's just track FX. Um, makes sense why, but yeah. Uh, I don't know why it made another track to be honest. And I'm just going to click on this quickly. And all these effects would already be here. And yeah, I actually took that one off instead of going on it. So I got a preset here. You just want to go to track EQ for the first one. You will have this, but I just select vocals. I'm going to show you the settings. So for one, you just want to copy down this frequency 188, gain 12.1, and the roll off is 6. And just keep this at low shelf and enabled. And on the second one, just copy this. This one is band, and the frequency is 300. The gain is 0, and the bandwidth is 1. And for the third one, the frequency with band and enabled, same with the second one and the first. The frequency is 3650, the gain is minus 8.5 and the bandwidth is 1.0. So just one. And for the fourth one, the, the last one, to keep this enabled and high shelf, the frequency will be 8369, so 8369. The gain is 7.8 and the roll off is 6. And that's all you need to do for that and now we're just going to listen to this. And to save that as a preset before I go on with the next thing, you just want to name this whatever you want in the preset box and then click save and it would have one here. That's how I got the vocals one. So yeah, let's just listen to this now. So this is where I'm going to test out all the effects. So as you can hear, uh, that was a lot more bassy. It didn't sound like before. I'm just going to see what it's like before it's so this is where i'm gonna no that didn't work okay it's just undoing one of my effects like clicking and stuff so yeah as you can hear it had a lot more bass and just sounded a lot more a lot better basically so i'm just going to go into a track compressor this will be here as well i'll set my preset the, it depends how loud you are but for this i just have uh these input gains and output gain uh, gain gain to zero the reduction is zero. I don't know. I don't even know if you could change that to be honest. Threshold is zero. The amount is five. The attack is five, and the release is fifty. And you want to check auto gain com uh, comp comp compensation, sorry, and smooth saturation. And again, you can just type in the name and click save. So we're just going to listen to this now. It probably won't sound different, but it just changed to all the. Like the loudness and stuff. So this is where I'm going to test out all the effects. So as I said, it does sound the same, but yeah, that's just to adjust the sound of it. How loud it is. 
Uh, so yeah, that was really it for this tutorial. I'm just gonna go over these one last time. You can have another here, a sample of them. Get back to the beginning. I can never get back to the beginning. Okay, so just listen to this with my commentary at the end. Do you want to know how to make audio sound like this with no Audacity or Adobe Audition? I'm just using Sony Vegas with the default effects like the compressor and EQ. Well, well then watch this video and you'll find out how. This is without the effects. This is with track EQ. So this sounds really more uh, basement here. And you want to add more bass. Not more basement. Basement here. Oh, if that's even a word, that's probably not. But yeah, forget about bass being with a basement. Just forget about that. So I just listen to this one. This is without the effects. Sorry, I just said it in there so I don't even have to explain it. That's without the effects. This is with track EQ. This is with track EQ. So that makes my voice maybe not sound deeper, but it just gives it more bass and I think it make it sound a bit deeper, which is always good for me. But for some people you might not want to do that, but it still gives you more bass, so. This is without the effects. This is with track EQ. This is with track compressor. Oh, and by the way, on the track compressor one, that doesn't include EQ as well, if you're wondering. It's just track comp uh, compressor and nothing else. And this is with all the effects. So this is where I'm going to test out all the effects. Which is what I've already done. And this one might sound better because I was no, I was probably closer to my microphone. And this is with all the effects. So this is where I'm going to test out all the effects. So yeah, that, that second to last one I think does sound a bit better. Not really noticeable though. That's even a word. So that's really it for this tutorial. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, uh, please be sure to leave a rating. And yeah, that was really it. So just how to make bassier, uh, b less basement here. Right, that's not even a word. Uh, just uh, to your vocals or uh, just your commentaries. You can do this for anything, not just for videos, just for any any audio thing. For songs, I don't really think it would sound that good, but you always might want to use a compressor. EQ can make it sound a bit better, which is always nice. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully you liked this, and hopefully uh, you found this helpful. If you did, as again, please be sure to uh, drop a like, and also say out in the comments if you have any questions or concerns, which I hope you don't, because if you don't, then it might have worked for you. Hopefully it does. And then just leave those in the comments and hopefully I'll be able to help you with that. So yeah, if it doesn't sound worse, uh, better, sorry, uh, then it's probably just your voice or you're doing something wrong. Just so you're doing something wrong, so it should always sound better. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.